hello good morning uh, this is Faris Al Hajri from uh, Oman Sultanate of Oman I'm presently in uh, Bloxburg doing my pursuing my plans and objective in the pursuit of the advocacy of uh, the hot water therapy or aqua thermal therapy or hydrothermal therapy or aquacalidum therapy uh, hot water therapy and in relation with the physical health what is physical health according to what we believe physical health is actually your body to be away from uh, ailments and uh, living a healthy living by means of uh, uh, away from diseases uh, and how can hot water therapy be linked with the physical health that is one side the ailment away from the ailments and also means being healthy and also possessing a good body fit means get rid of obesity and uh, controlling your weight as uh, most especially these days the food the preservative and the fatty food and so on lack of exercises and uh, lack of activities uh, too much uh, personal works and so on uh, long sitting in the office and so on all these uh, could lead to also obesity so all these fall under the physical health and the physical health actually how could hot water therapy be linked with that is we have done extensive research personal research where we found that actually based on the association of osteopathic medicine the american association of osteopathic medicine actually osteopathic medicine was first discovered in the 19th century by alfred uh, uh, still and Alfred Steele uh, he was a surgeon he was a, civi a physician and he lost three of his children with the disease and he came to realize that uh, that the it is about the body ability to heal itself so he came with the principles of uh, osteopathic and that he came up with to understand that the principles of osteopathic among them is that the body's ability, innate ability to heal itself, to fix itself and so on. And secondly is about the body is a machine and that uh, has correlation with the mind, spirit, so mind and soul. So uh, they are all interchangeable, that interconnected. If something goes wrong with one and the, the whole system goes wrong and if you realize about uh, thomas edison he realized he talked about the doctors of the future would not use medicine but will for the care uh, of these patients and through dieting and and so on so uh, hot water therapy what we realize is actually the fuel for the body is even though that our body has its own ability to heal itself to maintain itself to refix itself and uh, to regulate itself like for example when you have a fever we know that the temperature actually is the time that the temperature of your body is raised above the normal temperature of your body that's the time you're proclaimed to have fever but the fact is that the fever is that your body has an infection and is trying to get rid of that infection by raising the temperature of the body to destroy that infection for example, another example, we the white blood cells, they they actually the job is to to grab any foreign invaders and get rid of them, destroy any foreign invaders that could could harm the body. For example, the liver, the liver detoxify all the toxins that enter our body from the food metabolism and so on and chemicals and the environment radiation all this so the liver has to get rid of these toxins so instead of uh, uh, infecting our body so and so on uh, so our body its own me mechanism to fix itself but this body needs a fuel and that fuel is to maintain the healthy uh, to maintain these uh, 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 organs to be active to do to perform its duty its 
task accurately, like the blood also transport proteins, oxygen, and all this energy heat by form of heat to the cells, to the body's organs. So this fuel, when we did our intensive study, we found that the fuel actually is the element that are composed in the hot water. Hot water, which actually water is composed of hydrogen and oxygen, H2O, two molecules of uh, hydrogen and one molecule oxygen. So, but if you induce energy to the water to become hot water, so you have, from the hot water therapy, actually you generate uh, essential elements that we've found, uh, namely water, oxygen, hydrogen, and energy that maintain the body system and ability to heal itself, to repair itself, to maintain itself, to regulate itself. This is just a glimpse about uh, the hot water therapy and uh, the physical health. So if, we, if you realize that every, every uh, one of these elements, again, I repeat, water, oxygen, hydrogen, and energy, war heat. Actually, you found that anything related to humans' biology is related with these elements. For example, if you talk about diabetes mellitus, we know that diabetes mellitus comes into various forms, type 1, type uh, 2, and also uh, the, the diabetes for the pregnant mothers or women, So, which is a temperate diabetes. Okay, and we know that the diabetes 1 is that when the uh, uh, the pancreas fail to uh, secrete insulin to release insulin to regulate the sugar level and type 2 is when the cells fail to uh, detect the to recognize or to react with the insulin in the blood but actually insulin as we found in our own personal study is that it's released to control the glucose the sugar in the body but actually this glucose the sugar it's good for us by means that it's uh, coming from the food actually when brain process broken down by the enzyme and when the food, every food contain protein, fat and uh, carbohydrate. I mean, food, the foods that contain protein like meat and so on, fish like that, high in protein, the enzyme break them down to produce amino acid and that's good to, for the cells, energy energy for the cells and as well as to build the muscles. The carbohydrates like rice and so on, uh, flour, I mean many food that contain carbohydrate, they are broken down to produce what's called glucose which is sugar to the body, in the, sugar in the, in the blood. And the fat, like uh, I mean all the fatty food that we eat, the fat are broken down into fatty acids. So what do the enzymes do? with the fatty acids from the fat and the, uh, ca uh, the glucose from the carbohydrate, which is sugar in the blood, it breaks them down, the enzyme breaks them down to produce energy for the body, for the cells. So uh, as this process goes on, so what happens is that there is something wrong with the system of the body in the blood, the enzyme, to break down the glucose to produce energy or to break down the uh, fatty acid to produce energy and then they accumulate and within time the pancreas cannot continuously release energy because the system itself something wrong with in the blood it is not something wrong with the pancreas but the, when the pancreas keep on frequently releasing the insulin to control the sugar level that's a time because the system is wrong, as I mentioned, then there's a time where pancreas fail to release insulin. So it is not just about releasing insulin, it's about how the enzyme, they break down these uh, substances to produce energy, as we have mentioned. This is just a glimpse where we explain about uh, the hot water therapy in the relationship with the main, maintaining our physical health. Take another example, the liver. It's been discovered that the liver uh, store hydrogen. The largest amount of hydrogen is in the liver. 
and of course that's been discovered by Albert and Georgi, uh, the Hungarian uh, American biochemist who won the Nobel Prize discover of vitamin C. Well, he discovered that the human body store hydrogen in its pools, in its organs, in the name of, he called them hydrogen pools. Hydrogen pools, actually, the largest of the hydrogen pool is in the liver. Why? Because the liver, as we mentioned, detoxify the, all the toxins in the body, get rid of them. But there is a time with the liver too much toxic and uh, lack of hydrogen because as Albert Z. Georgi discovered that as we grow older we lose hydrogen, hydrogen depletion. So in my study of hot water therapy I found that the only way to maintain hydrogen in your hydrogen pools and the velages is in the liver of course followed by the heart, the intestine, the kidneys and the lungs as well as the spleen the spleen stores the least of hydrogen. So the presence of hydrogen in the liver actually is to protect the liver because hydrogen has been found to be the most powerful antioxidant. This is amazing. We see everything is interconnected to one another. So where do we get hydrogen to maintain the hydrogen presence in hydrogen pools as well as in other uh, organs in the liver and other organs to maintain because the also hydrogen which is the most powerful antioxidant and also it plays a role in the aging reversal as we grow old again we lose hydrogen so in my study why do we lose hydrogen where did we get this hydrogen of course I don't go into much detail of that because that's another session where it, it actually in short term actually it's the hydrogen was obtain, obtained that hydrogen pool uh, in the uh, in the time where you were formed in the womb of your mother during the fetal growth, the fetal development. So the time you are born, you are disconnected from the hydrogen because you do not receive enough hydrogen from the food metabolism and so on. The only way, I repeat it, the only way to maintain hydrogen in your pools, in your organs, is through the hot water therapy because that's where was the origin the source of creation of growth of every human being which is actually from the amniotic fluid or amniotic uh, um, the amni that's the liquid inside the womb of a mother when she's a pregnant and that's the main uh, fluid that uh, take away the baby taking place and growth the fetal growth so uh, actually amniotic fluid uh, it is hot water because it's 99 percent water you can imagine and the temperature is the one degree higher than the mother's normal body's temperature which is exactly uh, 37.5 degrees celsius so that amniotic fluid to remain hot it actually need the body of the mother it's all the time hot and as i presume is that the bodies of the body of the mother is above uh, much above the amniotic fluid to maintain 24 by 7 means throughout the time the fetal development of the baby is throughout that period of nine months uh, actually the amniotic fluid to maintain its temperature of 37.5 degrees celsius or 99.9 .9 approximate degree fahrenheit the uh, the body of the mother is really hot and uh, it's sec to secure, it's hot actually, to secure the amniotic fluid. As uh, of course, we, from the laws of thermodynamics about the shifting of energy from hot body to cold body. So that you can realize that uh, how this hydrogen, where well, we discover that, of course, we have another session, we explain about hydrogen, uh, how we obtain hydrogen from the hot water and uh, of course that's another session we explain but uh, so we when you maintain your the hot water therapy we don't talk about only drinking method the therapeutic methods of drinking hot water is just one method but there are other modalities but the essential one is the drinking method of course it has its own program we have uh, revealed that with a separate session so that is just a glimpse so 
If you maintain drinking hot water, therapeutic methods of drinking hot water, in terms of the temperature, in terms of the, uh, the minimum quantity required per day, uh, per age, of course, for adults, it's about three liters per day. For children, it depends to the age of the child. It's below that. And the temperature for the ch children is about 40 degrees Celsius. Uh, uh, for adults, it's uh, around 50 degrees Celsius, which is 122 degrees Fahrenheit. That's the temperature and the method, the way to drink it, you don't drink it at one gulp. So there is also, uh, it's just to follow the therapeutic methods of all these modalities, including the methods of drinking hot water to maintain your hydrogen presence in your bodies, in your, in your hydrogen pools, including the liver, the largest of that. So in overall this, we realize that, he, that to complete this formula about uh, understanding the body's innate ability to heal itself, your body, it fix itself. It has its own power mechanism to heal itself, to maintain itself, to regulate its, uh, itself. But you need to maintain the fuel of the body and hot water therapy is the fuel of your body. I appreciate and I'm having my hot water with me all the time because I abide with the big two principles of the hot water therapy. Believe, implement, continue, appreciate, discipline, understand. Have a good day. Take care. Bye-bye.